it's Connie from Faf Designs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a furniture painter and I'm also a brand ambassador for Dixie Bowl Paint. We're outside today. It's a bit sunny and it's also quite windy. Um, in the video today, I'm not going to be painting furniture. I'm going to paint these patio doors and they weren't wood. So they're not wooden underneath, they're plastic. You can do it, not a problem with Dixie Bowl products. So I'm going to show you how I made over my patio doors on a budget. The first step, as always, is prep, and just because I'm painting doors, it doesn't differ um, from furniture. So I'm just giving the doors a really good clean with Dixie Bell's White Lightning, which is a degreasing cleaner, and I'm using a dish sponge with a scrubby side, just to really make sure that I've good, given them a good clean. And then, because I'm outside, I rinsed it all off before it had a chance to dry, Gave it a good old rinse with the hose pipe just to remove any of the white lightning product to ensure there was nothing on the surface of those doors and just left it to dry in the sunshine. Next step, I got a fine sanding sponge from my Radpad sanding sponge pack and I'm just giving it a really, really light scuff sand. You don't have to do this step with plastic and laminate but I do find that it gives a nice smooth surface so that's why I'm doing it and then I removed any dust build up on the surface with a microfiber cloth the next step is the bit that I hate the most I don't know why I just do and that is to mask off any areas that you don't want paint getting on so I'm just running the masking tape around the edge of the doors on the glass where I don't want the paint to go over. And I'm also going to do the sort of bit where the doors close too. So anything that's gonna interfere with the door opening, closing, locking, I masked all that off as well because I don't want paint getting into those areas. So that's everything masked off. I only wish the process was as quick in real life. And the next step is to prime. So because these doors are plastic, I've already mentioned that they're not wood. Um, these need an adhesion primer to make the paint stick. I'm using Dixie Bell's Slick Stick, which is a fabulous adhesion primer. And it just means that you can paint surfaces that you would ordinarily struggle to get paint to adhere to, such as plastic, glass, metal and laminate. I apply Slick Stick with a synthetic brush. I'm using a Dixie Bell synthetic brush here. And Slick Stick needs two coats and the second coat needs to be dried for 24 hours before you apply your first coat of paint. And that's really important because it's one of those products that you just have to make sure you follow the instructions for it to work fully. If you apply the paint too soon, it means that you may compromise the slick stick and it might not work to the best of its ability. Okay, 24 hours has passed. I can now get on to the good bit and start painting. I'm using the colour Black Sands from the Silk Mineral Paint range. And that's there's two reasons why I'm using that colour. The first reason is because it's a fantastic paint for using outside. It's very durable. It's UV stable. It's got a built-in top coat, so I don't need to seal this paint. And also, the walls either side are painted in this exact paint. I painted this last year. They've held up really, really well. And I just think it's going to make it look a little bit more modern and tie the sort of front patio in all together. Also, don't judge the mess inside of that um, where you can see inside of the windows. That's actually my workspace where I paint all my furniture pieces, hence why it looks like a tip. Okay, so you can see on the zoomed in picture here how well that black sand is covering. It's one of my go-to colours for dark colours because it, the, the coverage is fabulous. It's really easy to work with. 
I did make sure the sun had completely gone round the other side of the house before I started to paint. Um, and that goes for the slick stick too. You don't really want to be painting in direct sunlight if you can help it because it speeds up the drying process, which means that it can start to dry. The paint can start to dry before it's had chance to self level and before you've had chance to get it smooth. And it can sometimes mean that you get um, a, an uneven surface or unwanted texture on your finish. So these doors took two coats of black sands. It covered really well with one, but for complete coverage and just to make sure that there was no areas that I'd missed, I did do a second coat. The um, reapplication time for silk is between two to four hours and that depends on your climate, where you are, the temperature, the humidity, that can affect a lot of things with paint drying but roughly between two and four hours and you can add a second coat of silk. I only waited a couple of hours because this was outside, it was quite a warm day and it just dried really quickly. So I waited a couple of hours and went in with my second coat and that was it. I don't need to add a top coat, it's got the top coat built in. So it's as easy as that. And the only good bit about putting the masking tape on is when you get to peel it off. So it's super satisfying and hopefully you should get a nice crisp line. I always try and remove my masking tape before the paint's fully dry. That just means that you're less likely to pull off any paint when you go. And if there are any areas where the primer or the paint has bled a little bit underneath the masking tape, just get a really sharp craft knife and just scrape away at it to remove it. Okay, so here's the before and here's a very silly photograph of the after. I was going to tidy up and make it look all pretty, but we had an entire day of rain and I was losing the light, so this is the best I could get. Thank you for watching the video, hope you liked it and learned something and hit the subscribe button for more videos.